Today I am going to show you this new product from DigiRig that I bought. This is the DigiRig DR891. So for those of you that don't know, I have an 891 in my car and I love to use it for mobile HF, specifically for parks on the air. But I also like to do mobile FT8. And until today, I've been using a signal link in my car. And look at all this mess. It's big, it's clunky, it's two wires going into a, uh, one of these things and then finally into my computer. It's just a lot of crap. So when I heard DigiRig was coming out with a DR891, I instantly went on their website and purchased it. I paid full price. This is not a sponsored video. I did not get anything for free. No discounts, no nothing. I paid full price because I love DigiRig so much. So let's take a look at what this is. This is specifically for the Yesu 891. And look at this little guy. Let's just take this out. Look at how, how small this is. This is like an inch by an inch and a half. Tiny, tiny, tiny compared to the signal link. Look at that. It's just super small. So you've got your USB and your audio port there. And you have one USB-C to connect everything for the 891 and you just have to use one USB-C cable into your computer and it's awesome. So these are the cables that came with it. So you've got one USB and one six pin DIN. These are gonna connect to the radio and then they're gonna connect to the DigiRig. So the red cable goes in the green hole and the black cable goes in the black hole. And then all we do to hook this up we're gonna take the USB, plug it in the USB of the 891, and then we're gonna take the six pin DIN, yeah, and plug it in the six pin DIN here. And then we take a USB-C cable from the DigiRig, and then that plugs into our computer, no more needing two USB cables into your computer. This does everything and we need one cable. I love this. So let's go hook this up in the car. Get everything plugged back in together. Tuck that there. Run my USB up front just like that. I'm gonna try this without ferrites first. This is a genuine Apple cable. May or may not have good shielding, so we'll find out. Plug in the battery. And let's get on the air. So now, all I have to do is take my one USB-C cable and plug it into my computer, open up WSJTX. Helps if the radio is turned on. This isn't a how to set up WSJTX, but I'll show you my settings. So I've got the ASU 891 set up here. And we're going to have to pick our uh, USB port, uh, which may or may not be that one. Nope. So it's probably that one. There we are. That's good. Green is a good thing. And we're going to go over to audio. And it's USB audio device. And we hit OK. We should start seeing signals. Let me go to, uh, let's go to 20 meters. And I'll have to tune up the ATOS. There we are. Now we should start seeing signals. And we are. Look at that. Now let's take a look at this volume. That's a little high. So let's go into our sound settings. And we'll click this USB audio device on the input. We'll just move this slider down a little bit until we get into the green. So that's good. We don't have to like open this up like I did with my other DigiRig and the G90 and like unsolder that connection to uh, put on some attenuation. This looks pretty good there. Maybe I'll bring it down a little bit more. Okay. So now we're not overdriving the input. And let's tune up here looking good so i don't even have any ferrites or anything on my usb cable there's two ferrites on each of the cables going from the uh, 891 to the digirig 
So I'm not getting any common mode current on my uh, USB cable here, so that's fantastic. We're not getting any audio errors. Everything's working as it should, so that's 20 meters. Let's try 40 meters, which is uh, the lowest frequency this antenna, the ATOS, will go. All right, and then we'll change frequencies. Oh, it already changed frequencies. So that's cool. I didn't even have to actually change this in WSJTX. It just knew that it was on 40 meters. So let's hit tune there. That's working, no problem. No audio issues, no uh, disconnecting of WSJTX. Everything is working as it should. And let's just go up to a higher frequency. Let's go, eh, let's go to 10 meters here. We'll try it there as well. And I wanna watch, I wasn't paying attention, but once this tunes, I'm not gonna change this once the radio's on uh, 10 meters because of rig control or cat control, it just worked. So the antenna is tuning, we're almost there. There we are. And look at that, the, the WSJTX changed to 10 meters automatically. Hit the tune button, we're transmitting. Again, no uh, disconnection for audio errors or cat control problems or nothing. This is just working. This is fantastic. And one USB cable to rule them all. Previously, when you had an 891 and a DigiRig or a SignalLink, you had to run two USB cables to your computer or do like I did where I had that USB hub and then go into one. It was a pain in the butt. It was a huge nightmare. Now look at this. I got one cable. When I'm done, I unplug it. I stuff it in here between the cracks. Everything is smaller. Everything is tidier, organized, and it works. That's fantastic. This DigiRig DR891 is a freaking game changer for me. I am happy and I hope to work you guys mobile FT8. My name is Mike, Ham Radio Tube 73. That is so cool. That is so freaking cool. Bloody brilliant, I say.